All right, so about the Web2 tools, there's a couple of things I was thinking. Um, when I first started using the Web2 tools, I was like, I kind of thought to myself, do they want me to blog or do they want me to build a boat? Because I can't really be doing all these things all the time, going back and reflecting because it was just taking too much time to go through and be taking videos of all the time and all pictures and photos. But I found that it's actually quite helpful for a couple of reasons. For one, um, you can log what you've been doing so you can actually go back and look at it yourself. Uh, for two, so other people can see what you're doing, like, you know, either friends, family, whatever, or for like maybe a boat owner in the future, somebody else making it. But one of the other things I found was interesting is also for other people, um, just, I don't know, maybe a week or so ago, um, a student, I was standing there talking to Chris, and a student came up to Chris and asked him about how you draw stem section detail. And so Chris looked at me and I said, I've actually got a video of that. So I actually had a video that I made of me drawing stem section in my first semester that I was able to direct to the student and say, hey, I've got my, I've got this video made already and you can just go look at that and you can walk through it. I actually had two different videos of it made on one drawing it on a, one doing it on, on an actual piece of wood and the other one doing it on a locking. So there was something that I found that other people can also look at. So if it's up, it was up on my blog and on YouTube, so you can find it in a couple different ways on how to use it. So the web tools, I find that it's good because it, it gives a reference point, you can see what you're doing, and also for if you ever have any questions on how to do something, you can go figure it out. Sweet. As I'm Greg Tarkovy, I'm currently studying um, stuff you can apply technology and boat building. Um, here to give my reflections on the Web2 tools that we have been using for our course. And um, uh, firstly, I'd like to say that it's, I found it super helpful. And um, at the beginning, I didn't know what a blog was or how to even set up a blog or yeah, set up my own email account. And by doing this, I was uh, having Vickle here every Tuesday to give us uh, a hand on um, doing this stuff. I found that it was real helpful having just that knowledge of how to use the computers in there because I, I really think that's going to play a big part in the future and um, and blogging itself I, I wasn't a big fan of it because I just didn't know how to write or how to speak on it but as time has gone by it's, it's become super easy and um, I found that blogging is just it helps so much in a way that I could do something now in like three or four months down the track and I've forgotten how to, to do something I could just go back and, and um, read my blog and it's just all there in my own words and everything and um, it, ha it can help not just me but other people as well and um, vice versa with other people's blogs if I found something difficult I can just jump on their blog and just check it out and and, um, and yeah and uh, Blogger and, and Google Docs and Buzz and that it's, uh, to me I found that super easy to use and I highly recommend it for all trades and all certificate, all classes and everything in general. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, my name is Goran. I've been doing um, certificate in applied technology, boat building for almost a year now. And we got asked to do a reflection on the blogging and the web two tools that we're doing. I found blogging really easy. It was um, very good to get into. It took me a while to get into it though. Once I started getting into it, it went pretty good. Um, the reflection of my blogging is um, improved my spelling. I always had um, problems with my spelling and ever since I started blogging I found um, that my spelling has been improving. Every Tuesday we have Vickle coming in into the workshop and he's helping us out on how to use Blogger, Google Docs, Bus. And it's a really good help to have him, having him around. I recommend blogging for people that um, are doing any courses. It's very good for you. You can always track it back your tracks on how far you've been working for or if you need to catch up on any of your work before that. So for example, we did a dory up at the start of the term and we can see the steps that we when we started and how we were doing it. And you can just it's very good to keep up with the timeline. Also blogging is you can have people commenting on your blogs and helping you out when you're going wrong or when you're going right. And it's very good for you. Thank you.